Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, May 18th. Today, we are going to go over your homework. Hopefully, if you have not, uh, I'm sorry, hopefully you have completed it. But if you have not completed it, please try to do that before uh, you look at this video. And then if you have any trouble, I will solve everything for you. All right, let's go through it. So we have Jerry here. Jerry bought 6.95 kgs, kilograms of cherry and lime jelly beans for his birthday party. If 1.75 kilos were cherry flavor, how many kilos, how many kilograms were lime flavor? All right, so um, here we have uh, 6.95 kilos of cherry and lime. So we have two flavors. This is our total. This is our big number, 6.95. And once again, draw yourself a picture. All right. Pictures are good. It will help you work out in your brain what exactly needs to happen. All right, so here's our grand total of jelly beans. All right, and it then says, if 1.75 kilos are cherry, all right, so I'm gonna just go bam. And then I'm gonna put 1.75. And we'll just call cherry C, okay? So if 1.75 kilos were cherry, how many kilograms were lime? So we need to figure out this thing here. All right, we know the total, we know cherry and lime uh, is 6.95. And I'm just gonna put an L for lime and a question mark, okay? Uh, so, this appears to me to be some simple subtraction here. I'm gonna write it out for you in my wonderful pink font here. 6.95 minus 1.75 should give us our answer here, okay? Um, and as always, actually, let me go back through. I'm gonna do this vertically, 1.75. Make sure my decimal points are lined up here. I'll put it over here. All right, five minus five is zero. Nine minus seven is two. Make sure you add your decimal point. Six minus one is five, all right? 5.20 is what I get. Is that one of our answer choices? No, it is not. However, it is the same as 5.2, okay? Um, do not confuse that with this, okay? This is 5.02, this is two hundredths, this is two tenths, okay? This is also, this two over here is in the tenths place. So yes, we should have answered 5.2 kilos. All right, moving on. Number two, Paige was measuring how much taller she got over two years in the first year. She grew 4.62 centimeters. In the second year, she grew 7.7 .7 centimeters. How much taller did she grow over the two years? Okay, so uh, this appears to me, this is just simple addition here. Okay, we've got, uh, she wants to know how much taller she got over two years. So we're trying to find the total and we have both pieces of the total, year number one, she grew this much, 4.62. Year number two, she grew this much. So if we have both pieces and we're trying to find the total, we should just add them together. All right, so uh, we have 4.62, whoops. And we have 7.7, .7. all right. And also make sure once again that your decimal points are lined up, all right. I'm also putting an extra zero on the end of 7.7 .7 because that is the same number. There are zero hundredths in 7.7, .7. all right? This does not affect the value at all. 
I can put all these zeros over here that I want and everything's still cool. All right, so, um, whoopsie. Oh, check your work, teacher Ramsey. We are not doing subtraction, we're doing addition. Okay, so two plus zero is two. Six plus seven is 13. Carry your one over just like normal. All right, don't uh, stop when you reach this decimal point here. Just carry it over to the ones place. All right, and make sure you put your decimal point in the answer column. Now we have one plus four is five, plus seven is 12. All right, and it appears I have my answer. However, uh, they are trying to trick you here. Um, what is our unit of measurement? We are not, uh, we're not measuring years. We are measuring centimeters. We're trying to figure out how tall she got here, okay? so. Uh, this should be your answer. This one, 12.32 years, that is not what we want. We're figuring out two years. We already know the amount of years. It is two years. So we should have 12.32 centimeters, not 12.32 centimeters. This is 12.32 centimeters. All right, next one. Number three. Nancy, my good friend Nancy, was buying food for her birthday party. She bought a 52.93 gram bag of barbecue chips, yum yum, and a 79.6 gram bag of regular chips. How many grams did she buy all together? All right, all together tells me we are adding yes this is one of those buzzwords if you see all together um and there are a couple different spellings of all together i usually just spell it a l and then together all right and i believe that's how your books spell it okay but don't worry if you see it this way it means the same thing here all right, so once again, we are just adding. And once again, we need to make sure that you line up your decimal points. All right, and once again, 79.6 is the same as 79.60. So I'm just gonna add these up here and I can already tell which one is the answer because all of these other answers are less than what I started with. So that's not gonna give us the correct answer. Um, whoops, I'm getting lost here. Nine and one, this should be 12, 13. Okay, hey, look at that. That is one of our answer choices. All right, and yes, we are counting in grams this time. 132.53 grams. Easy peasy. Next one, number three. I'm sorry, number four. John ate some snacks with a total of 80.79 calories, okay? Um, calories, this is dealing with nutrition, things in your food, all right? Uh, if the chips he ate were 43.39 calories, how many calories were in the rest of his snack? All right, so um, here, once again, they've given you the total all right, our total is 80.79, and we know one piece of it. Uh, we want to figure out the rest. So in this case, we're going to be doing subtraction. All right, anytime they give you the total and a piece of something, you're probably going to do subtraction. Then. All right, so my total is 80.79. We wanna subtract this out here. 
7 minus 3 is 4. Bring down your decimal point here. We need to do some math and borrow from our 8. Let's turn it to a 7 here. All right, now I have 10 minus 3 is 7. And 7 minus 4 is 37. So I have 37.40, which is the same as 37.4. And I have 37.4 chips and 37.4 calories. What on earth are we counting here? Chips or calories, all right? We already know the chips he ate were 43.39 calories. So that's not what we're asking. It says how many calories. So your answer should be 37.4 calories. Number five. All right. A weatherman, the guy who tells you the weather, was measuring the amount of rain two cities received over a week. Okay, city A received 3.74 centimeters, while city B received 9.8 centimeters. What was the total amount of rain for the two cities? Okay, total is another one of those buzzwords. What are we doing? We know all the pieces of the puzzle, we just don't know the total. What should we do? Let's add these numbers together, okay? I gave you piece number one and piece number two here. And we are only dealing with two cities. So that means we have all the information we need. City number one, 3.74. I'm sorry, city A, not city number one. And city B is 9.8. Once again, make sure your decimals, decimal points are lined up. And let's add these bad boys together here. 9.8 is the same as 9.80. So this is just like adding four with zero. Seven and eight is 15, last time I checked. All right, and this should be 13. All right, so we have 13.54 centimeters or 13.54 rains. Well, I don't know how to measure in rains. Uh, yeah, it's very difficult to count raindrops. So uh, yes, we are counting in centimeters, okay? Um, and let's check this out. It actually says, what is the total amount of rain? But are we counting in rains? No, you cannot count in rains. Uh, you could say it rained yesterday. I suppose that would count as one rain, but uh, we are measuring the amount of rain. And how do we calculate rain in these centimeters here? Okay, so 13.54 centimeters. That one's a bit difficult on the grammar. Make sure you know your English and your math. That's how we solve these word problems. Number six. Ned and Sarah were running a relay race. The race was 22.01 kilometers total. If Ned ran 9.41 kilometers, how far did Sarah run? Okay, so what pieces of information do we have here? Uh, they give you the, the full total here, all right? And also a relay race is where uh, two or more people, I've definitely seen lots of relay races with four people, okay? And one person runs the first part of the race and then they usually hand a baton or something to the next person and then they run part of the race and then they give it to the next person, they run part of the race. So that's a relay race. All right, the race was 22.01 kilometers total. So they give you the total and they give you one piece of the puzzle here. Our friend Ned runs 9.41 kilometers. So what should we do? We wanna know how far did Sarah run? So I'm going to take our total and then I'm going to uh, subtract the amount that Ned ran because Sarah is the only other person running. And I'm gonna subtract one minus one is zero. Here we need to borrow, okay? Uh, lots of times some of you kids are still getting confused and doing four minus zero and coming up with 
four. That is no good, okay? Borrow. Borrow one of your ones and create 10 tenths here. Now I have 10 minus four is six. And once again, I need to borrow again here. Let's change this to a one. And now I have 11 ones minus nine ones is two ones, all right? And then drag your one down here. I should get 12.6 or 12.60. And what are we measuring? It said, uh, how far did Sarah run? And it appears we have the word kilometers many, many times here, okay? And we should all know that KM stands for kilometers, okay? Don't be confused, we cannot measure in runs. Number seven, I believe this is the last question, kids. All right, Billy buys four, chairs for 27.90, uh, I'm sorry, $27.90 each, all right? That means one chair costs $27.90. Each, that means one, okay? And two tables for $37.95 each, all right? Once again, each means one, so one table costs that amount. What is the cost of all the chairs and tables all together? All right, so here uh, we are going to need to do some multiple steps, okay? Um, steps number one and two. All right, we cannot just add 27, uh, we can't just add 27.90 and 37.95. That's not gonna work for us, okay? Why? Because I have four chairs and two tables. If I just add these two numbers, I'm only counting one chair and one table. We wanna know uh, the total cost here. What is the cost of all the chairs and tables together? You see, they snuck the word all together in there in um, different parts of the sentence. All right, so we've got four chairs and one costs $27.90. What does that mean we should do? Well, let's multiply. That's a good first step. <clears throat> 27.90 times four. This will give me the cost of all four chairs, all right? So um, once again, we're working with money here, which, me which means we need to have tenths and hundredths, okay? Even though four times zero is zero, we need to work with hundredths, okay? Nine times four is 36. Don't let the decimal point confuse you. You can just pretend it's not there and drag it down into your answer, okay? Seven times four is 28, plus three is 31. All right, and then we have two times four is eight, plus three. All right, am I finished? Definitely not, but I do have half of the answer now, okay? I've just calculated what all four chairs cost. What should be my next step? Well, I need to figure out these tables. I know how much one table costs, but I have two tables, so let's multiply again. I'm gonna do 37.95 times the amount of tables. We have two tables, and that will give me the second half of my answer. And then I still won't be finished because uh, I'm gonna need to add these things together, okay? So five, um, actually, I'm going to put the answer down here because there's no room, and I'm going to add these numbers together anyways. 2 times 5 is 10. Put my 0 down here, and then carry the 1. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 and 1 is 19. Put the 9 down, and your decimal point. Carry the 1. 7 times 2 is 14 plus one is 15, carry the one, three times two is six, plus one is seven. Now I think I can already tell you what the answer is, but 
let's make sure we check our math because sometimes we get things wrong, all right? Zero plus zero is zero. Six and nine is 15. Carry the one. Uh, then we have one plus one plus five is seven. Don't forget your decimal point, seven and one is eight. And then drag down your one. We should end up with dollars and cents here. $187.50. That is the correct answer choice. Um, yeah, notice they're trying to trick you here because they're giving you the amount of tables as an answer choice. And they're also giving you the amount of uh, the chairs as an answer choice. But we need to add all of that stuff together. All right, kids, that is all for your homework. Uh, I'm gonna assign you some more stuff tonight. Make sure that uh, you do this stuff. Keep up with it every day, kids. And also, as always, stay safe and wash your hands. I'll see you at 10.30 and 1 p.m. sharp. Bye-bye, kids. <laughs>